hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am off of school today so i decided to film a fall vlog for you and give you some inspiration for this upcoming season so i just got ready i did my hair i straightened it of course and i did my makeup i got dressed so these pants are the kendall and kylie fake leather they're like a chocolatey brown super cute and then this sweater is from free assembly it's just this mustardy diamond pattern super cozy it's a look My hands start getting dry as the seasons change, so to prevent that, I put on some lotion and cherry lip gloss from Victoria's Secret. I am on a walk right now. I know that my hair is a little bit insane because of the breeze today. I'm just enjoying the weather with my dog. I'm gonna put on some Taylor Swift. I think that the most fall Taylor album is red, Taylor's version, of course. It is time to get productive because I have a lot of things that I need to do. I'm going on a trip tomorrow and I have not packed yet. My room needs some cleaning. I want to make a fall bucket list. So to be able to do this, I need some energy. So I'm gonna make some coffee. pink like the light pink iphone 13 and my wallpaper is just me and my friend so for my laptop i'll find a little vision board on pinterest that's already pre-made because i don't really feel like making one of my own but just so whenever i go on my laptop i can get all those fall vibes pinterest is the best app in the world fight me on that <laughs> I think it turned out perfect. Obviously, I did not make this, but I love whoever did do it. May, I'll give her the credits just in case you want to go look this up. But I'm going to put on some Gilmore Girls as I clean my room just to, you know, entertain me and keep me motivated to actually do it and not slack off. Currently, I'm on season two, episode 19, which is Teach Me Tonight. I did buy a fall-themed candle last year in my room decorating video, and it's actually almost out, but I want to finish it up before I get a new one. Also, because this smells really good, it smells super sweet, it's the warm apple pie one. So I'm going to light this, drink my coffee, watch Gilmore Girls, and get my room all sorted up. So I decided to make a fall bucket list full of things I'm going to do this season to really fully romanticize it. I have paint pumpkins, drink apple cider, watch scary movies, go to a haunted house, go to a pumpkin patch or a local fall festival, listen to Red Taylor's version, dance in the rain, bake cookies, go thrifting, go book shopping to the farmer's market or write poetry, study at a coffee shop, go trick or treating, and last but definitely not least, go to a football game. Game. Anyway, I put down these cute little sticky notes to write my bucket list ideas on, outlined it with a gold marker, and then hot glued some stars onto it and some pom-poms. I really wanted to read and instead of just reading in my bedroom or on my patio, I decided to go downtown and truly embrace the fall weather. Making the most of the time that we have now while the weather is actually decent is crucial because before we know it, it's gonna be super cold and unbearable outside. Alright guys, it's been a lot later, but I did finish my book at the square. It's Daisy Jones and the Six. Super good. If you have not heard of the story, definitely watch the TV show or read the book. And while it's not explicitly fall themed, it does have that vintage vibe to it, which could go along with the fall. Taylor Jenkins Reid is my absolute favorite author. But I came home and I had dinner and I've just kind of been chilling out. So it's been about three hours since I last talked to you. I wanted to share some of my goals for the new season with you guys and my first one is to commit to uploading at least once every two weeks on YouTube. I also want to commit to going to the gym three times a week, which I've been pretty good on. Go to bed at 11 p.m. on school nights, eat protein-filled snacks, and try to get my grades up to all A's. Setting goals for new seasons is one of my favorite things to do to set my intentions and stay focused on what I'm working towards. Making your goals actually achievable is incredibly rewarding because you will be motivated to create more. 
more. Having an accountability buddy can make the process easier and believing in yourself will get you farther than you think with hard work. I recommend setting at least three goals for each season and you're welcome to take inspo from mine when setting yours. Just make sure to have a list of them where you will frequently see them and be reminded of them. I brought out these fall pillows. I have this one just says fall breeze, autumn leaves, pumpkins please. It's kind of corny, but you know, it goes with the vibe. And then I have this fluffy orange one, which I have another downstairs if I want it, but I'll probably just put that on the back of my chair at my desk. And then I already put up my fall sign that I got last year. And I know a lot of people decorate their room for fall. I did that last year, but I don't really feel the need to just because I just finished my whole room transformation not that long ago and I'm pretty satisfied with it. you guys so so much thank you for watching i really do hope that you enjoyed this video i'm super excited for fall and i hope you are too and yeah i love you i'll see you in my next video bye